Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us for the Caring Ambassadors Program video series, Learn from the Experts. We're excited to welcome back Misha Ruth Cohen, a doctor of oriental medicine and a licensed acupuncturist and the clinical director of Chicken Soup Chinese Medicine in San Francisco, California, is our featured author in this video, Integrative Medicine, Complementary Therapies and Chinese Medicine in Lung Cancer. In this session, Misha will be discussing a couple of common questions people have faced when diagnosed with lung cancer. I'm Lauren Sant, the Executive Director of the Karen Ambassadors Program, and I'm joined today by Cindy Langhorn Hatfield, our Lung Cancer Program Director, and a panel of people living with lung cancer and their caregivers. We hope that this video will provide helpful insights and information for patients and caregivers dealing with lung cancer. If you're interested in learning more about the Caring Ambassadors Program and our mission to help patients with lung cancer, please watch the video series. Please share this information with anyone who might find it useful. Together, we can make a difference in the lives of those affected by lung cancer. Welcome back, Misha. Thank you, Lauren. Sometimes people come in and ask the question, or most people ask, how often am I going to get treated? Because they need to be able to determine their ability to come in, whether it's physical or financial, if they live in a different part of the country or they live far away, they want to know how often do I need to come in to see you and can I go see another practitioner at the same time, etc. One of the things is when somebody's initially diagnosed, we'll do a consultation and come up with a treatment plan. We determine, and at that point, how often a person comes for acupuncture. We will have people do regular intervals of looking at their herbal medicine, looking at the supplements, and that tends to be a little bit further apart. But with acupuncture treatment, once somebody is getting ready to go through a Western treatment or is in Western treatment, we're often having people come in for acupuncture a couple times a week. We do recommend that during their chemo cycles that they are able to come in the day before and day after their chemotherapy. Sometimes people are getting treatment every week in the Western Clinic. Sometimes it's every three or four weeks. And we definitely want that week to be the week where they're coming in more often. That would be how we would do it in our clinic. Other clinics may have different priorities or different ways of doing it. However, I have found that to be very successful in terms of ameliorating the side effect, you know, helping people have energy levels that are stronger, being able to deal with neuropathy early on in the process. And sometimes people cannot get into our clinic regularly. So we are able to recommend other practitioners or they find another practitioner someplace that's close to them and we can help guide their treatments. One of the things is we want to make sure that a person is getting the correct treatments also, as well as the number of treatments in terms of acupuncture. Another thing that may happen is a person who's been diagnosed with cancer will come to our clinic and say, I don't want to go through any Western treatment. I want to be treated by you first place in our country, practitioners of non-Western medicine are not legally allowed to treat cancer in people. That would be something that is across the board, important for people to understand the legal ramifications. But secondly, I would not treat somebody alone. It's a little bit complicated because it depends on where in the course of cancer diagnosis and treatment a person might be. If it's at the very beginning of diagnosis and there has been a plan that's been put forward by the Western doctors and somebody is trying to figure out what to do or not, it would be important to have them continue in their process of working with the Western practitioners until they figure out what that process is going to be. Some people end up choosing not to use Western treatments with their physicians, if I was going to treat somebody who wasn't getting Western treatment at that time, it would have to be with them seeing the Western practitioner throughout the course of any treatment that we might do. But in the vast majority of cases, 
I would not treat somebody who is not wanting to use any Western treatment or is not considering Western treatment because our treatments are not going to have the evidence and the ability necessarily to cure the cancers that people are coming in for. There's a lot of data on cancer cure in Western medicine. There is much less data on cancer cure in Chinese medicine, and most of that is in Asia, in China and Japan, Korea. There are treatments that are being used, but they're usually used in conjunction with the Western treatment and to improve the outcomes of Western treatment. So for us, we are going to always work with the oncology team and be able to have access to their reports, be able to have the person report back to the oncology teams. I think that it's important that a person continue to work with their oncology team, no matter what they decide to do in terms of their overall treatment. So in conclusion, people who are diagnosed with lung cancer have a wide range of integrative and complementary modalities to choose from, which can include a very wide breadth of Chinese traditional medicine practices, as we've talked about here today. Those can often be used as adjunctive therapies to support Western conventional treatments. Side effects frequently can be ameliorated using various forms of integrative and Chinese medicine. Important that you seek out a qualified and licensed practitioner when necessary. Practitioners, teachers who have a knowledge of cancer support when you are considering using these practices. Also, very important is that it's important to discuss and confirm any therapies that you might be considering with your Western conventional team. I hope that all of you have the best support and have the best ability to be able to manage your care, manage your treatments, manage your life, manage your spirit, and that you have the best of mind, body, spirit going forward into the future. Thanks for being here.